Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Horde Hunters. This is another one of those roguelite zombie survivors games. Or vampire survivors. Currently we are doing the tutorials. We have 10 inventory slots, thank you for telling me. And you pick up a purchase of we'll set up in the inventory. Cool, how many gains health? What is this? Mouse wheel up, quick space, yes, okay. Leap slam, button right, tab, okay. I have learned it. Now, unlike all the others, it looks like I can actually, you know, do stuff. I have defences, I have usables, I have consumables, I actually have to aim. Which is already significantly higher than most other games of the genre. I have played a lot of these style games lately, honestly, an awful lot of these style games. Because they are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere, but that doesn't mean they're bad. It just means there's a few too many to choose from. Now, not all of them actually have any differences to each other. Let's face it, most of these zombie, I mean vampire survivors, played a lot of zombie games, and I'm also playing one now, are very similar to each other, which of course is a little itty bit of a problem. Because, you know, if they all feel the same, what's the bloody point? Now, there isn't really that many out there which change up the formula. Even this one doesn't really change up the formula, it just means I have to aim a little bit. There's a couple I played where, you know, your entire squad, and somebody literally customised multiple mechs, which was absolutely amazing. This one feels a little bit more run-of-the-mill, with a little bit more action RPG thrown in. Yes, you know, it is what it is. Cow. Why is the black hole here? So I'm going to throw a black hole. Uh, there. That was teleport, wasn't it? Let's go black hole. There we go. There we are. Murdering everything. Okay, I really want to see larger size. I'm going to keep on swinging. Super pretty. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Now, obviously, there's a, this is a bit more stuff going on. There's like a, two active abilities I can use. Duck. Okay. I've thrown a duck. Which is a high explosive duck. I never thought the goose was going to be the problem. Hmm. Now, obviously, I'm not really sure what to expect from this one. Air alert. Farm. Where's this? Oh! Farm. There's a blacksmith healing pond over there. So there's actually a little bit more going on with this one. You know, multiple different things I can, in fact, do. Which is kind of nice. There's actual stuff happening on the map. Which means it encourages you to... Rescue mission ending in 20 seconds. One rescue mission. So yeah, there's actual things going on. So there's, you know, there's more stuff happening. Okay, it's going to take me a while to go get that. There's gold down there in a winery. There's ghosts now. Wine. Uh, firebomb? Okay, so I literally bought a firebomb from this shop. There's a blacksmith over here. What do you do? You allow me to buy... Wait, blacksmith? Yeah, okay, sells you up to the consumables. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get it. I would like... More charisma? Mm hmm Extra attack rate, extra critical. There we go. So we're going to use the money to make myself more powerful as time goes by. Now right now, of course, I still only really have one weapon. But it is what it is. Maybe I can get more. Obviously, there's a lot of unlockables. Which, you know, it is what it is again. But most of these games live or die by how much you can, you know, elite emerge. How many different attacks you can do in one go. That's what uh, Vampire Survivor was the big one about, is the fact that at some point you were literally decimating the entire bloody screen. Obviously with this one, you're not really doing that. Apples. Whoa! There's a lot of stuff going on though, I've noticed. Come on. Okay, let's go for, what is this? 5% bridge cooldown. Do that. Firebomb. Okay, kill the elite. Grab that. Trophy elite skull. Okay. I guess grab the trophy? No. Upgrade. Done. I guess it just gave me all of that? Okay. I really want none of that. I want to get more upgrades. Okay. This gives me more attack, faster attack speed. Now I only have one weapon. I like to have more attacks. Obviously, there's different classes in the game. Grab that. Extra size. Yeah, grab that. So I have to buy it to know what it is. Okay. Fine. 
There we go, that's much better. It's okay what it is. It's an okay game for what I'm expecting and looking at, although, like I say, I've played a lot of these games. An awful lot of these games. It's just there's so many of them. The Vampire Survivors craze? And Survivors? Auto Battlers? I don't know what it is. There's just so, so many. There we go. Come on. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, give me all of that. Not enough luck. We need more luck. Okay. More apples. Grab that. Okay, give me the apple. Good. Give me this. More health. There we go. There we are. Kill everyone. Kill everything. We need more money. Uh, more tax speed. But yeah, it's okay. I would definitely, again, like some of the other games in the genre, because this one's just, just okay. But, you know, it, it works. It does what it wants it to do. Okay, what does this do, then? Enemies drop any XP, it's worth 25% more. Okay. I'm learning. But, yeah, again, because you're only using one weapon, and, you know, lots of abilities, it's still the whole... It needs to really up... I was thinking that's just a spear, then. It needs to really up what you're doing. Now, it says at the bottom there is up to ten things. Obviously, that's a lot. Fire mission. What is this? Press E. Collect two water sources. Okay. I did it! Multi-fire. Okay. Uh, more damage, I guess. There we go. It's taking a lot of damage. There's a lot more healing in this one than usual, I've noticed, which is interesting. God, my looks useless. Still no more weapons. Still no more weapons. Okay. Okay, what have we got over here? Give me... Weapon. Lightning is 100. 100! Okay, freeze that. Okay, we're freezing that. I want that. So we're going to get 100 gold and literally get myself more stuff. Come on. There we go. That's not 100. That is just so close to 100. So, yeah, the weapons are pretty cool. Firebomb, upgrade, upgrade, consumable. More critical. Give me lightning. We finally have a second weapon. Okay, now we're shooting lightning randomly too. Good. New new defense mission. So multiple missions. So there's an awful lot going on for what you're doing. Now it finally unlocks more weapons. Although weapon unlock is a lot slow, it seems. It seems there's a lot more going on, so you don't really mind as much. Come on. Uh, give me more knockback. Lightning is more stun. Yes. Strong winds, so now I'm slowed down. Interesting. So what are we on the map? We've got apples, farms, healing pods, there's a church up top I'm suddenly curious about. What are you? What do you do? Tell me all your things. Cleanse. Cleanse every buffs with your uh, enemies, heals your character. Okay, we don't really care about that. Actually, I probably do care about now I think about it. Now give me Cyclops consumable, multi fire, faster attack rate. There we are. So unlock the abilities, grab everything, heavy rain. Oh, it's got visuals gone, visuals gone. Uh, 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 uh. No weapons, unknown with that is light wand, freeze it. And also that, extra projectiles on my lightning would be great. This mission failed, I don't even know what I was. Okay, give me a duck. Oh my gods! So yeah, a little bit tough. Let's try that again. Now they know. So as you can see, this is the upgrade thing. You use skulls to unlock stuff. Obviously, I'd like 
I don't know. Monocular? Fruit picker? Tower God. I have five skulls. This requires... Okay, let's just go straight up. Uh, what is this? Buy. Ooh, okay. Give me... Tower God. Give me extra health. If you sell that, give me a bit more speed. And a bit more magnetism. And a bit more ranged... Actually, give me melee damage. And there we go. And that is... The, obviously, the uh, roguelike part. Or the roguelite part. No, I got it. Why am I fighting? Why, why is there peasants rendering around now? Was there peasants before? I don't remember being peasants before. What I know now is this feels bad. I'm going to have to take a few hits to get a few kills. But more weapons will definitely be much better. More size, definitely better too. Good, 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 good. And obviously most of you will have turned off in the first few minutes. This is literally the game. I personally am going to keep on going. I'd like to win. Or at least do better than the last time. So we're going to try and do what we can to kill. Which means more weapons, I think. I'm actually taking a lot of hits. Let's get the ham in. There we go. More size. Yep. So I don't really see consume balls as that useful. Obviously they will be useful. But you know what I mean. It's more along the lines of I want to be able to have something which actually makes more permanent use. A consumer ball will be single use. Which, you know, it is what it is. There we are. Give me... More knockback. Not that I've ever noticed knockback. Oh, wow. Okay. Six uses left of the gold. That's fine. It's not really bandit cam. What is this one? Okay, I don't really care about the bandit camp. We need to go for the healing thing down below. To go up the healing. So obviously some of these things only have so many uses, we want to make sure they're used at the right time. We can't just, you know, grab the things because they think they look cool, even though they obviously do. There we go. Faster attack rate. No new weapons. There we are. Keep going. Okay, so uh, have you only 20 seconds? That's fine. There we are. Okay, we need to start getting more upgrades. Apples! Where's that bloody blacksmith? That way. An elite on the field. Come on. Grab. Got the upgrade for damage. Yes. Now we need more speed. Grab the blizzard. Eat the apples. Blacksmith is up there. I'm never getting it right. Come on. Uh, larger size. We need a weapon. What is this? Meteorite. Yes. Freeze the bloody meteorite. And freeze the fire cape. What's that? What do I need for these? 100, 100. Just need money now. Just a lot of money. Nothing major. Just all the money. And it's raining on us again. There we are. Apple tree is on fire. What do you mean the apple tree is on fire? I can try and defend it, I guess. Faster attack speed, upgrade size. Come on. We need to go get this going on. So yeah, there's a lot going on for this one. Obviously, I'd like to see this done with one of the others. It's nice, but it's actually a thing. Press E to start the mission. Got them all. There we go. Okay, there we go. Freeze them all. 
Weapon lightning. Just get a new weapon. Yes. There we are. New weapon. I've got those other two weapons locked off. I haven't got the gold to do it. There's a gold mine up above. Let's go grab that. New rescue option. Curious. Okay, there's a rescue mission up north. Let's go have a look what the rescue mission is. Actually, no, sod it. Uh, okay, more damage, larger size. Let's go for faster attack speed. There's a lot going on. Which is weird, because we don't really have much actually happening. That multi fire is actually really bloody effective. However, every upgrade I feel like I definitely want to have, you know, the ability to do more damage, have more upgrades, as opposed to a single use major attack. But I guess that depends on how you're doing. More projectiles, yep. You got to 100, I'd like to have more weapons, honestly. Come on. They're just literally, there's just no money on the field. Uh, more attack speed. I'm going to see this damage. Come on, there's all the money. There's not much going on. It's helpful here. Money. Where's the, where's the blacksmith? All the way over there. Wait, is that the right blacksmith? It's gotta be. Come on. Grab the things and the stuff. Bank's on fire. I'd rather the bank not be on fire, money, but whatever. Blacksmith's above. I think it, yeah, it does. It's just a one single map which rotates around. Very interesting. Bye. Wait, is this the right one? This isn't the right one. Where's, all, where's the weapons? Oh, there they are, up top. There, effect damage. Yep, grab the cape. Uh, freeze the additional projectiles as well. Go. So now I'm leaving fire behind me. There we go. This is how it should be. Burn, baby, burn, Disco Inferno. Come on. I don't think the cape would have been useful, though, if I'm honest. This is just not useful. Uh, more air effect. More fire bombs. More ginseng. Faster attack speed. More fire. What are those things? Are they ghosts? Are they snakes? No idea what they are. Okay, I need apples. There's a fire mission down here too. And we lose the bank. We lose the bank. Damn it! Lost the bank. Another elite at least take you with me. I have no luck though. Come on, just die. Well, you should know I'm seeing huge amounts more weapons and equipment going on, which is kind of cool. Uh, got divinity, consumable. I'll take that. And more wine, rags, more AoE, more damage. Well, the snakes are more snake like, at least. Haste, take it. Oh, I love how it slowed the enemy down. Literally just slowed the enemy down. Uh, more projectiles. There we are. So this is going much better. Obviously, I'm still going to die very soon, but this is so much better. 19 of... Oh, look at that. Filthy rags. Wait, filthy rags. Mini boss. Ooh. Well, it doesn't help them very low health, but you know. 
Whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> what was the last wet thing I got? Filthy rag, just an AOE around it. I like the filthy rag. That would have been cool. It's a shame, however, I died. So I can obviously I now have Nikolaus, who is a bowman. Oh, there's Merle. Then there's Jarvis, and there's Rolf. But anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been another zom ah, zombie vampire survivors game. Now called Horde Hunters. We'll see which one actually gets the name of the genre. I'd like to see that. Because obviously we have uh, all sorts of games like Battle Royale, but no one calls them a PUBG. Right, take care, be awesome, be epic, be amazing, I'll be seeing you sometime soon. Goodbye.